Terus ebaragit Wana rako raci drum ka sa incho bin sasha Tosi mana rochata Donos emaragith Wana rako raci drum ka sa incho bin sasha Tosi mana rochata Donos emaragith Wana rako raci drum ka sa incho bin sasha Tosi mana rochata Terana mo sibu enda sarans Krema sungkun ratunggala Cawi mo jubu ingko soraca Bacabi doko Tona rangga mana cungga Bacabi doko Tona rangga mana cungga In wamagro Mei rangga na noruta Loka kama ranen doso ran wid no cabi Tu ran tamana sobu Loka kama ranen doso ran wid no cabi Duran tamana sobu Kawana bota yuta tangga kinamatura Ta yaita ta bosanan ansata Ta kometa keplaya justing Miki gong gobeast Un grabila king no mulara kichi kuta krasa kisha Ejikonu tai yun yuna palawa lit basha makarangwa ni rotu guru ni chorota Tung laldu chung nao duka ne tunga gurka chino sonka ticha noch You're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Say the word. Elfa, 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 Elfa,
faith in your abilities was well founded. We'd like to get this droid into service as quickly as possible. Opo Chano? Greetings, Executive Lorso. How may I be of service? Just plug into the mainframe and get to work. Right away, Executive Orso. You may go, Chano. I'm sure you have many repairs to see to. Now then, your payment. Here are the credits agreed upon. There is another task I would like you to perform for me. Do you doubt that I will uphold my part of our agreement? Don't worry. When my word is given, it will not be retracted. Now, on to business. You proved that you can handle yourself quite well in dealing with the retrieval of the droid intelligence. The next matter of business I would ask of you is much more delicate. When we first set up here on Citadel Station, the exchange was already quite well established. Lopax Slusk had more influence over business matters than the Telosian government. To ensure our success, we involved ourselves with the exchange. And now that we have a handle on the situation, we wish to unentangle ourselves from them. If you know anything about the exchange, then you know that they would not take this well. Slusk is loath to have his hands removed from any business on the station. So, a more direct method will have to be taken. To put it plainly, I want you to kill Lopak Slusk. I realize it won't be an easy task, as Slusk keeps himself well protected. You would be well compensated for it. I have a feeling they won't just let you march into their offices. Laksa is Slusk's second. She spends little time in the exchange offices, though, preferring the cantina in the urban module. She might be able to set up an appointment. Good. I will be happy to continue our working relationship. I will arrange transport to one of the restoration zones on the planet's surface. You will be safe from the TSF there. For the services you have offered to Zerka, you will also be reimbursed. I trust that is an agreeable arrangement. And, if memory serves me correctly, it wasn't too long ago that you were wanted by Gren and his cronies. 
Consider the charges against them cleared as well. They committed no crime against this station. The TSF had no reason to arrest them. I have just finalized a working agreement with these two gentlemen, Zerka's two newest contract employees. Be reasonable. I have given them a contract and my word that they will be safe from TSF persecution. Gentlemen, would you excuse us? Welcome back. Batono, of course. He was one of our former employees. Let me tell you something. There are far too many like him. Do-gooders who believe that because of the things Zerka must do to remain successful and profitable, we must be evil. They do not see the impracticality of their beliefs. They do not understand the realities of the galaxy. If certain funds must be paid, then Zerka will gladly pay. If competitors removed, then Zerka will do its part to forward progress. Batono could not see this. Before leaving our employ, he stole many of our records, then began to stalk our movements on the station. Harassment, but conveniently overlooked, sanctioned, perhaps, by the Telosian authorities. I'm curious, though, as to why you are looking for him. I see. Well, I suspect he's putting his nose into something or another. People like him can't mind their own business, always needing to pry into matters that don't concern them. I do know he spent some time in the company of the Athorians. I assumed that was the reason for his efforts, that he thought by inventing stories of Zerka's evil, he could put Chodo Habat and his incapable assistants in charge. But if you are searching for him, and find him, there would be a reward for any information of his whereabouts. Silence his lies and fabricated untruths. His slanderous accusations are a needless trouble atop a great many troubles this planet faces. If credits are what he wants, then Zerka will pay him for an easy settlement of this situation. Otherwise, Zerka will be forced into a lengthy petition process with the Telosian Council. If your conscience demands it, then by all means, just remember, a reward is waiting for you.